Circuits are red, actuators are blue, robotics is sweet, and robo thespian loves. Oh, hi. Did you like my poem? I loved your poem. We are here at the Robotic Revolution at OMSI, where the robots have definitely taken over here in a good way. And this is the last time, the last stop for this exhibit. And you have a chance to see it coming up starting on Saturday. Joining me now to talk about it is one of the original designers out of the Chicago Museum of Science, John Beckman. This is exactly what we think of, John, when we, when we think of a robot. It looks like something we see in the movies. This one does, which is why we have it sort of towards the front of our exhibit, because the rest of the exhibit is gonna explore where robotics is actually at right now in a variety of different ways. Okay, let's look at one of those because this one has to be my favorite. It looks like a little seal. Tell me about it. Steve, maybe you can come around and see its darling little face. Yeah, too. so this is Paro. Paro. Paro is a therapy robot. Um, so he can go into uh, places with autistic children, with the elderly, places a dog or a cat maybe can't go. Um, but he reacts to how you touch him and how you talk to him. Um, and uh, it's really a wonderful alternative. And then something else where you're trying to make them a little more, I don't know, relatable for humans is these which show expressions, right? Right, so we talk about social robotics and yeah. the um, opportunity for robots to express things in a more human-like way. It's mimicking you, So if you, you come around it? here, yeah. you can see I'm gonna, it's picking me up on the camera. I'm gonna try to go from two extremes. Look at that, and it turns when you do. And what's right. the point of this? To make, the, again, the robots a little less threatening. And robots are nothing for us to be worried about, right? <laughs> Absolutely not. If you're ever chased by a robot, just walk up a couple stairs and you'll you're be fine. They can't Speaking even Speaking of you. moving, let's take one look at one last one. But you have to think about why it looks like a okay. giant spider. Um, and that's because it can go over any kind of terrain it comes in contact with, because it's got six legs um, and it can move and rotate um, and it can raise those legs actually a lot higher than what we're doing right here. So it could come and save you or find out you're trapped somewhere. So why are robots important for kids to learn about? Um, robotics right now is sort of where the personal computer was in say like 1980. It's an exponential curve. It's a great place for young people to get involved any age um, in engineering, in math, in design. It's really the uh, culmination of so many disciplines um, and then they're really cool. They are really cool. All right, thanks so much. So here's the deal, you guys. You can see this basically from St. Patrick's Day to Labor Day here at OMSI, and it is remarkable. Make sure you plan a whole day to see it all. You can find more information on OMSI at EDU. Back to you guys.